Hey everybody, I'm Malamo, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Destiny video. Well, not exactly brand new, brand new to my channel, but this video is actually going to be on farming spin metal um, in Destiny, of course. So, I know this video has been posted uh, a lot on obviously bigger channels, but I still wanted to throw this video out there just uh, to kind of go a little bit more in depth than most of the videos I've seen, and I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible while explaining as much as I possibly can. So, to start off, you're going to want to start a patrol or the Devil's Lair on Earth. Now, if you start a patrol, which is what I did here, then there's a little bit more um, that you have to go through. If you start on Devil's Lair, you actually spawn where you need to be. So, this path that I am taking now on the Sparrow is going to lead you right to where it is. So it's kind of a long path, it's kind of tedious, it might be a little bit better to start on Devil's Lair, but I, I still wanted to show you how to get there if you were doing it on a patrol. Um, this farming spot works best on solo, um, but you can do it with other people, and the one problem I found with this is that if you're in a match and the area that it's in, which is the spawn of Devil's Lair, you should know that area. Um, that area, the only problem with it is if there's another player in the game that is not in your fire team, then the chest, because basically, basic, basically, sorry, basically this is going to um, allow you to have infinite spin metal and or chest spawns. Um, what I mean by that is, or you'll see um, here pretty soon. So, basically you want to come to this area. There's a little loading spot there. It shouldn't take too long. You want to come to this area and you want to um, kill these three enemies here. So, the two drags and the servitor. And now, this one chest you want to be in here. Um, as you saw there, there was a little fade into this little clip here. Um, I'm just showing the spawns location, the spawn locations that the chest can be in this cave. So there's those locations there for the chest um, so far. And then spin middle can spawn there, which it did for me. So I got lucky this time. Um, it can also spawn there. It can spawn inside of this little crate container, shipping container here. And then a chest can actually also spawn right up on here, um, which I forgot to actually show before. Alright, so now this is what you want to do once you have your spin metal and or your chest here. Uh, you just want to come over here and grab it um, and then you want to turn around. Um, once I grab this, so you want to turn around and you want to do this on a sparrow. You can't really do this by foot, it kind of messes it up. So you want to turn around and you want to come over here. You can use those stairs right there as a landmark. but you're just looking for the thing on the bottom, the divide to pop up, um, and it resets everything. So, once you do that, you have a respawned chest and a respawned spin metal leaf. So, you can basically do this for as long as you want. Um, it's not really too hard. Um, so, here in this clip, um, actually I'm going to show that when events pop in here, which the event here is an eliminate the target event, um, as you'll see it pops in right here. Um, when that happens, it good. does not affect farming. Now when the enemies that are originally here spawn in, it does affect this chest spawn, and the chest will no longer spawn in that room, and neither will the spin little leaves, unfortunately. So when there is an event here, um, it kind of just resets itself every time you go back, and you don't have to participate in it. But if you do participate in it, you want to not capture, do not capture the chest or the spin metal leaves and just go ahead and kill the guy. And then you can capture it and be on your way and keep going. So, events do not mess up this method. Now, I farmed for about 20 minutes, 15-20 um, minutes roughly, and these are my results. I actually destroyed a lot of those. I don't know why I showed those, but I started out with about 10 spin metal, so... 215, 220, roughly there. Um, you also get um, Ascendant Shards, you get Strange Coins, you get Motes of Light, and you get Ammo Synthesis, and then of course Glimmer. So, if you're wondering where to sell these materials to, to actually get um, Vanguard Marks and things like that, then 
you can go here and this will give you Vanguard Marks, Reputation, um, and Glimmer. 250 Glimmer each time, you get roughly 31, 32 Glimmer, or not Glimmer, Reputation rather, um, every time you turn something in. And that is for Vanguard. Now this is for Crucible, this guy is down here, he's the Quartermaster here. Um, and you can turn it into him as well. Um, so you can do that uh, and you get the same things but for crucible and then you want to turn it into him though if you are using class armor for a clan such as new monarchy the uh, future war cult i believe cult i'm pretty sure um and dead orbit so basically the rest of this video is just going to be uh, me doing this um and so i wanted to keep this as short as possible and I think I did a good job doing that, but yeah, it's kind of tedious, um, but it does kind of level you up a little bit faster, not faster, maybe just a little bit easier. Um, you also get marks and things like that a lot easier. So basically, um, that is the farming method there. Um, I don't remember what else there's one other thing I wanted to add and I don't remember what it is um, if it's important look in the description it should be in the description I'll remember it so just check the description um, for uh, something else possibly um, now the farming run will also be in the description if you don't know how to do that um, and that'll actually make your chest and your spin metal spawn where they need to be eventually um, but yeah, basically other than that, that's how you do the whole farming method. Uh, if this video did help you, then go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. Um, and if you want more Destiny videos, you want to see more Destiny videos, go ahead and subscribe. You know, that'll that'll uh, that'll make me motivated to um, produce more Destiny videos and just more videos in general. So, yeah, go ahead and do those things if you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you. Um, and, you know, check the description. There's a lot of links in the description. There's a couple things down there that are, that are pretty cool. So, yeah, with that being said, that is the video here. And uh, I'll let you guys be on your way. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.